Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday so we have another meal prep. This is a special meal prep because I'm actually doing two WW friendly recipes. Recipes that have already been skinnyfied to make them WW friendly. Ones that I have been wanting to try for so long. And then I'm also making a really good lunch recipe that I skinnyfied to make it WW and calorie friendly. So I'm excited for this week's meal prep for sure. If you are as well, give this video a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out these weekly meal preps. If you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you join my community. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. I do upload videos most days of the week and Monday is always meal prep day so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out my personalized macro and calorie calculation. Let me give you the calories and macros you should be eating every day to see the biggest weight loss success. And this does go hand in hand with WW, so highly recommend this service. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention, I do have 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions. I'd love to coach you individually and really, really help you reach your goals, set up a game plan and make it happen for you. So check all of that out on my nutrition coaching website. You'll also find links and discount to the items I share with you today, as well as my favorite things. And last, but most certainly not least, my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. We'd absolutely love to have you be part of this growing community as well. It's really fun, very supportive, and very, very positive. So head on over and join us. So we have three recipes to make. We have an amazing meal prep to do, so let's jump in. breakfast this week I'm actually making a easy peanut butter overnight oat we're gonna top it with chocolate and this overnight oat actually has a decent amount of protein because we're using non-fat Greek yogurt so I will give you a substitution to add some additional protein if you'd like but let's take a look at what's in our recipe so first we're going to need chocolate chips now this is optional you do not have to add chocolate chips you could add fruit nuts chia seeds granola whatever you want to top your oats but I'm wanting that chocolate peanut butter or that Reese's vibe so I'm actually going to add some chocolate chips these are the Lakanto. I love these I like these better than the lilies I think they have less of that bitterness and aftertaste I just picked these up off of the Lakanto website. I'll link it down below with 20% off for you guys. So I'm going to add some of those. You'll also need some almond milk, nut butter of your choice. I have this Wild Friends sugar cookie peanut butter left over from when I purchased it off their website. So I'm going to use that. You could also substitute PB2 to lower the points and calories. Honey, you could also substitute sugar-free maple syrup, again, to lower points and calories. You'll need some ball jars, some decent-sized ball jars, rolled oats, and of course, fa a or any type of non-fat Greek yogurt. So let's make some overnight oats. Let's start putting together the overnight oats. So I have my jar here. First thing I'm going to do is add one third of a cup of rolled oats. And then immediately I'm going to put in one quarter cup of almond milk and give that a quick stir. The reason for that is, is you want to make sure your oats are in the liquid in order for them to have the best consistency once they sit overnight. And then we'll add the one quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and give that a stir as well. On my food scale, that's the easiest way to weigh and measure. I did one tablespoon of that sugar cookie peanut butter and one teaspoon of honey. It's always interesting when you weigh out peanut butter, how little you get for a tablespoon. So our eyes are definitely bigger than the actual serving, I feel like. Same with a teaspoon of honey. It's really not very much, but it should be just enough between that and the peanut butter to add that little bit of sweetness to my oats. Give that a stir, and then I'm actually going to add in my chocolate chips. I also weighed out one tablespoon on my food scale of chocolate chips as well, and I'm going to stir those in. Now you can wait and just put the chocolate chips on top once the overnight oats are done, but 
but I decided to go ahead and stir mine in. So this is what my overnight oats look like. They actually look really, really delicious. So I'm gonna pop a lid on this and then let's make the other three containers. I'm making four for the week. Overnight oats are done for the week. These look incredible. I was thinking you could add some fruit and it would be more of a PB&J with a chocolate little twist on these. I'm really excited for these for the week. They are eight points on the blue and the green plan and only five on purple because you don't have to count points for the oats. Now, a couple of substitutions that you could make is you could omit the real peanut butter and use PB2. Instead of almond milk, you could use Premier Protein and that would give you a little bit of extra protein boost. You could omit the chocolate chips. The honey could be replaced with sugar-free syrup. There's just a lot of different things that you can do to make the oats less points. I'm a-okay with the eight smart points. I'm going to pair this with another source of protein, whether that be eggs or sausage. It is eight points for me on the blue plan, 332 calories. For my lunch this week, I'm making a really easy beef and rice enchilada. Like I mentioned in my grocery haul, my husband is more wussy on spice than I am, and he always thinks enchilada sauce, no matter how mild it is, is too spicy. So I decided that I wanted enchiladas for my lunch this week. Very simple, five ingredients is all you'll need. Light shredded cheese, the Trader Joe's is my favorite. A one smart point tortilla of your choice. If you use a tortilla with higher points, just make sure you add that to the overall points of the recipe. A pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. Enchilada sauce of your choice. I decided to go with this mild green enchilada sauce and a boxed Spanish rice. Also in my grocery haul, I shared that the Zatarans is the lowest calorie, lowest point Spanish rice that I could find. So that's what I picked up. So let's get started on our enchiladas. It's actually six ingredients. I did not know that the boxed Spanish rice calls for a can of diced tomatoes. So I'm just gonna use these organic fire roasted from Thrive Market. We're going to make the rice up per the package instructions. So we're going to bring this to a boil and allow this to cook thoroughly. We'll pop a lid on it. It's going to take about 25 minutes or so for the rice to cook completely through. And in the meantime, we're going to brown our ground beef. My rice is coming right along. It's boiling. I'm going to let it cook completely through. My ground beef is browned all the way. I'm going to reduce the heat and add in the one can of the green enchilada sauce. And then once the rice is done, we'll add that to the ground beef mixture as well before we start to assemble the enchiladas. So we're ready to start assembling the enchiladas. Look at how good this looks. So the recipe actually wanted you to only add a portion of the sauce to the beef, but I like to add all the sauce. I don't mind the rice and beef mixture over the top of the enchiladas, so you can do it either way. I will put the original recipe on my website, of course. So I have my Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. So I'm going to take some of the filling, add it to the Olay Wrap. We need 10 enchiladas total, so make sure that you save enough filling for 10. And then we're going to put about a tablespoon of the shredded cheese inside. Roll that up and then add that directly to the nine by 13 baking dish and repeat until we have 10 enchiladas. enchiladas in my pan. I have quite a bit of the rice, meat, and sauce mixture left over. So what I like to do is just pour that right on top. Again, the original recipe wanted you to add some of just the plain sauce into the pan and over the top of the enchiladas. And I like actually having the rice and the ground beef on top of the enchilada as that little extra bit of filling when you go to eat it. So just make sure that your enchiladas are fully covered with the sauce. 
We had one cup of light shredded cheese total. So this is what is left after adding about a tablespoon or so into the inside of the enchiladas. And I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top. So here they are. They look and smell incredible. I'm really excited for enchiladas this week. These are going in at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until the cheese is fully melted and you can kind of see these edges bubbling up. That way you know everything is cooked through and all those flavors are melted together. Look at these gorgeous enchiladas. I just pulled them out of the oven. They smell so delicious. They smell as amazing as they look. So this is my lunch for the week. As you saw, it made 10 enchiladas. Each serving is six smart points on all plans, 230 calories. So if you're tracking calories, you can actually have two enchiladas for lunch for less than 500 calories, which is not bad at all. Top it with your favorite sour cream or non-fat Greek yogurt but I'm excited for this. I will definitely let my husband know how spicy that mild sauce is and maybe he can enjoy these as well, but this is lunch for the week. This week's dessert is a WW Pound Dropper recipe that I have heard all about. A lot of you have reached out and requested that I make this as part of a video, so here you are, my friends. This is the two smart point Snickers caramel apple salad. Two smart points, you guys, per serving, and a serving is an entire cup. So I am really, really excited for this recipe. So let me show you what I'm using. I'm using the Kroger Carb Master Milk. You can also use Premier Protein. It recommends the caramel one. I don't drink Premier Protein, as you guys know, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the non-fat Kroger Carb Master Milk. You'll need an entire 32 ounce container of Phi 0% yogurt two large Granny Smith apples. I had these small ones left over in my fridge, so I'm gonna use these three really small ones and then this one large one. Either sugar-free butterscotch or sugar-free vanilla pudding mix, crushed pineapple, and three fun size Snickers bars. Let's make dessert. The first thing I'm going to do is chop up my apples and also chop up the three fun size Snickers bars. Step one to our salad is in a large bowl, we're going to add the entire packet of the sugar-free pudding mix and one and a half cups of milk or that Caramel Premier Protein. Go ahead and whisk that until everything is nice and incorporated. Next, we'll add in our 32 ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. Keep in mind that this container is a little over 35 ounces. So you don't wanna add in the entire container, just 32 ounces. Drain all of the juice from your crushed pineapple. That keeps the pineapple at zero smart points. Add that into your pudding, yogurt, and milk mixture and stir until combined. I have my chopped Granny Smith apples. I'm gradually going to fold those into the mixture. Look how amazing this looks. This is a ton of the caramel apple salad. And then I went ahead and chopped up those three fun size Snickers bars. So we're going to cover this, put this in the refrigerator, allow it to chill, and then you do wanna serve it immediately. You can keep it in your fridge for a couple of days, but the sooner you eat it, the better, in my opinion. This entire bowl is only eight servings. That's it, you guys. So when you go to eat it again, measure out one cup or one eighth of the recipe, and then you'll use one eighth of the Snickers. So what I would recommend doing is weighing the entire bowl of Snickers out on your food scale in grams, and then dividing that by eight, and then top your caramel apple salad with that number of grams of Snickers. That way you make sure that you're staying within your points, because this is what has most of the points. So that's our salad. I'll go ahead and insert a picture of the salad with the Snickers on it because I'm gonna have this for dessert tonight and you'll be able to see what the finished product looks like. When you go to eat it, you can also top it with the sugar-free caramel sauce. You know I couldn't find the no sugar added caramel sauce, so I just have this butterscotch sundae syrup. You can also top it with a little bit of whipped cream. I know a lot of people use the fat-free ready whip. When you go to serve it, just divide it out into your eight servings. It's 183 calories per serving and that is without any topping. So that's without whipped cream, without any butterscotch or caramel syrup. It is four smart points per serving on the green plan and only two points you guys per serving on both blue and purple so a cup of caramel apple salad with snickers 
two smart points, you can easily add a point or so of your favorite sauce or whipped cream and make this a two to three smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to eat them all week. All of these recipes will be on my recipe website. That is linked down in the description box, along with the nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, as well as the other items I shared with you today and my Facebook group. So definitely check out that description box before you go. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button. And of course the bell next to it. So you're notified whenever I upload. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Happy Monday and I'll see you next time. Bye.